Have you ever seen The Empire Strikes Back? Nope. That's a lot. <laughs> hey, nice shirt, dude. Where's your shirt? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Welcome to Curiosity Public. I'm Dutch. I'm Jules. No. And have you ever wondered how to drink bourbon? Like, how do you actually drink it? I mean, like... No one. You know how to drink it, but, like, how do we drink it? What do you guys do on a Tuesday night when I pull out my bottle of Buffalo Trace and I say, Hey, guys, let's pour ourselves a dram. Let's do a podcast. Well, Jules, you already have your glass. Like, how do you do it? Right here. You drink out the of a classic Glen Cairn glass. I mean, look how this thing is designed. Yeah, look how hot your hand was. It's all camera. frothy. <laughs> it's well, it's elegant, little, nice round. Look here. Let's see what it, it looks like. It isolates. It tips up to the uh, nose, so you can. Oh, nice! And Dutch gives a pour to the table as usual, where you can actually analyze. Look at the legs. And you get the proper Adrian. nosing. Yeah, you okay. get the proper nosing because it like just focuses all the aromas to your nostrils. How's that smell? And you're supposed to do it at a 45 degree angle. Oh, that's good. Let's get the uh, well. I want to show them the, the, the bourbon flavors over oh, yeah. here. Like when you go to 45 degrees, you actually get the right. most surface area of the right. bourbon, or a very nice proportion of the surface area of the bourbon to give you that smell. Right. So on it your nostrils, focuses go so. straight on in, and then enjoy. So enjoy, Dylan. What about you, man? Yeah. So if you've been watching, well, first of all, let me just say if you um, follow me on Instagram. Uh, I've taken pictures of me like right before I drink all the dram and you know what I use and basically I use a in and out burger um, a coaster and a five guys copita glass <laughs> copita <laughs> copita glass um, what is that well it has a stem it's like a mini wine glass I will say like a red uh, wine glass there, there are a couple of reasons why I like this. Number one, I enjoy holding it uh, with the stem here. Do you point if, with it? No, if you if you just watched Jules drink it, you can kind of see that he grabs it by the base right here, and your hand gives off heat. And therefore, it changes the temperature over time. If you're nursing this over time, you know, Jules, you drink, what, this much in like three hours? And so, you know, by, holding, run it, a little hot. by holding it like this, I mean, this is, not, this is not cognac. This is not brandy. And the fact that it changes the temperature is something that I don't like. And therefore, um, because I don't use ice, because I don't mix it with anything... I want it room temperature, you know, ideally. No, let's get a little closer to the so, glass here. So uh, this is what the Copita looks like, guys. Look at that. Now this one has a oh, stamp on Dalmore. it. Dalmore. Dalmore. No, we're not going to drink Dalmore out of this. You're going to drink some Buffalo Trace out of this and tell us, is it really the best way to drink it? I mean, like, is that a little bit too refined for bourbon? No. no. I, look at how beautiful refined it is. Refined for this look, gentleman? Look, look how beautiful this is. Look at the presentation. Look at him automatically raise his pinky. If you... <laughs> I'm telling you. Um, if you are, <laughs> I know he's trying to hold it back right if now. If you're folks. doing a tasting, if you're doing a tasting, um, you know the way you present it. I think, like the entire experience is really important. And you know, bourbon is something that you you should respect. I mean, there's a lot of craftsmanship that goes into this. Agreed. And so I think it's very important for me to not touch anywhere near the dram to change the temperature, not even a little bit. Um, I wanna be able to swirl it. I wanna be able to get that uh, air in there. I wanna be able to open up, uh, you know, as, as best as you can. Um, I can angle this at 45 degrees or even further to, to maximize the surface area. Oh, the nosing is just incredible. Oh, you can get, you can get amazing aromas with this. And then when you're tasting, Phenomenal! You get you get that combination of that aroma and the and the taste. It it's just it's just refined presentation. You pay respect to the craftsmanship that went into uh, creating that Pinkies particular up. Pinky up. presentation. The All right, guys. So cheers. Um, How about so you, Dutch? you guys know on this show, I always use a Glen Cairn. I, I have no problem with that. Mm -hmm. When I'm focused on a dram, I understand the perspective that both of you guys bring to the table. But when I'm at home. 
drinking a dram of something. I almost always am gonna use a rocks mm. glass. I mean, the prettier the you better. You do like your ice. But I do use even the, the janky little rocks glass. This is a nice one. That's a nice one. And you know, the other thing is like, you know, okay, it's Southern California, it gets hot here. Yeah. A lot of the time, Over I, 90 I, degrees on a Friday night, night, I'm pouring to just sit down and chill out and relax. I'm not gonna focus on the dram. I wanna make sure I got a big old ice cube. Look at that ice. That's real, it's dripping everywhere. And he carved that himself. Up. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> if, In you, the glass, if you watch the ice episode. There is no look ice episode. That perfect cut. Look at this There is an ice episode ice. in the vault. on top of the ice. Dutch it's refuses. It's all over the table. Of course, it's on all over the table. And you know. Do you do that at home too? Yes. <laughs> I use better crafted ice at home. I, I mean, I will say, like, if you if you do enjoy, like, you know, whiskey oh, stones and things go. like that, here you can't go. put it in this, right? You can't put it in glasses like this. I mean, you could kind of put Guys, it, this is my turn. You could kind of put it in this, but I, I agree with you. I'm, I'm supporting you. Okay. you I'm mean, saying you're you taking over his own I mean, like, you, you see, you can see like this. I just kind of go to there and I, I throw it in there. <laughs> see, my massive piece of ice protected my glass. Yeah. In Dell's defense, he was an awesome three-point shot back in the day. <laughs> he was. We called him the something tornado, but anyway. <laughs> Um, okay, with some ice, now my, my bourbon is properly chilled. I can enjoy a sip. I've got a big, this is a big piece of ice. I wouldn't use that. Big I wouldn't use that piece of ice. I love it chilled, guys. Nicely chilled. I'm refreshed. Mm. It's wonderful. I mean, this is the experience that I go for. I think the point of this is that, first of all, there's no technically wrong way of enjoying it. You gotta enjoy it the way you like it. I think there is but, no point But in these this. are the different perspectives. <laughs> nice. These are the different perspectives. If you want to put ice in there, whiskey stone, you want it cold, you want it mixed, you know, buy those glasses. Buy the glasses that the Dutch uh, The Dutch. The Dutch. <laughs> if you want traditional, you don't mind kind of, um, you know, manhandling. Sophistication woman handling, in your hand. In your hand, that. change it's the so temperature. It's so good when it's cold and crisp it is like so this, good. Um, You know, this, is, this doesn't but really this work if you're gonna try to put ice in it, classic. obviously. Yeah, you know that's kind of the you know this is the what the um, the the middle of the road I would say. What are you talking about? This is the connoisseur. And then this is this is for people who are focused on the minutia, who are really obsessive compulsive. <sighs> and this is the self absorbed this is, choice. This is max minning. <laughs> so your boring. This is max minning your experience. I would say. This is the way to go. All right, guys. I mean, look at look at us. Okay, look. <laughs> which which is cooler? The this pinky? massive piece of ice. Look at how big this piece of ice is, guys. That looks so refreshing. I can relate, to be honest. <laughs> like totally the bourbon off that. of it is so good. Um, all right, guys. Like hey, if this you're is... wearing a suit and tie. Okay, Dylan, I mean... come on. We gotta we gotta. <laughs> We gotta tell the people what they really need to know, which is that we've got awesome bourbon t-shirts in our shop down in below. In the description click, below. Click the link. Uh, drink the bourbon however you like it. Mm -hmm. If you like to have a little bit of ice in a rocks glass the way I drink it a lot of the times, go for it. If you really want to dig into it and, and be pretty Focus. serious about it, go with Jules' uh, Glen Karen. If you want to be pinkies out, super focused on flavor, aroma, and the experience, go with what you want. You want to look has. like a d You don't want to touch... <laughs> Hey, you know what? And if you just have a coffee cup or a red Nothing solo cup. Nothing wrong with that, cup, too. That's how I used to do it, man. That's Why not, right? Why not? Why not? It's bourbon, guys. You drink it how you like it. Jules, take us out. Tell us what you guys think in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this episode or a thumbs down. I have a feeling no. there might be a high ratio of that. <laughs> Either way, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we appreciate you taking us out. Subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. Oh, there goes that Viking ice. Oh, that was a lot. That was heavy. <laughs> uh, if you want to help the channel out, help us grow, uh, consider joining Curiosity Private, which is our membership program on YouTube. We do have t-shirts, which also helps us out. There's a link in the description down below. We also have a podcast. Check us out on the major podcast platforms out there. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Stay curious and drink the bourbon the way you like it. Hilarious if that had shattered. I know. <laughs> I was thinking the same I realized thing. that like, as I dropped that it. Break it? <laughs> yes. It's yeah. like a watermelon yeah, wedge. It's perfect. The bourbon tastes so good. Oh, man. Oh, Yummy. Oh. Summertime.
Uncouth. Mm. Summer, summer Uncouth. time. I mean, what's cooler? This? This is much cooler because it's got ice in it. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> As long as, you, as long as you bring chemistry in, shut them down. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn it, the science wins. Yeah. <laughs>